Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Melissa here at Crafty Max. Hello again, it's me. Hey friends, I'm going to go ahead and put my Etsy shop here for you. www.etsy.com slash crafty, nope, slash cra uh, shop. <laughs> hello my friends, and then Crafty Max. Hello my friends, hope y'all are doing good today. Uh, there we go. Hello, my friends. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Debbie Snooks. How are you doing? And Marty, how are you? Uh, Renee and 30 other people. It doesn't show me who they are. Hey, Crystal Fleming. How are you? Tracy uh, Dumitrate, I believe. Hey, Frida Williamson. Hey, is that Aunt Frida? Is that Aunt Frida? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Are you Are you my yeah. aunt? <laughs> hey, Glenda Butler. How are you? Hey, Gloria Bricker. How are you doing today? Jessica Coates, Barbara Marshall Finn. And Morgan Hart, Wendy Long, Luella. Hey, Luella, how are you doing? Janet, is it White Chuck? What Chuck? Adelia, how are you doing, girlfriend? And Vitalia Gonzali, Gonzalo. Sorry, girl, I had to get closer. <laughs> hey, Melissa Wilson, hey, Lolly, how are you doing? Hey, Charlene Hunter, Robin Marie, Marie Rivera, Lorraine Wick. If you're new to my page, I'd just like to take a few moments to say hi to people. If that bothers you, just go on out, wait five minutes, come back in, and I'll be working. <laughs> hey, Debbie Stricker. Hey, Donna Thompson. Angie New. Hello, my friends. Hello. Hey, Nettie Smith. Nancy Haldeman. How are you doing? I'm having a wonderful day. I hope you are, too. I should say night. It is 10 till 8 here, friends. 10 till 8. And my honey's here in the shop with me. Oh, there's your hand. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy Phillips. How are you? Hey, Marlena, my friend. Do you love this sign? Let me go ahead and flip the camera around so you guys can take a look at this stink cute sign. Here, whoopsie. There's the sign. Ooh, there we go. Now, this is a wreath kit tutorial, and it's wreath kit number 15, 1535 for those of you who purchased this. Now, in your kit, you get both the 11 and 3 quarter inch. And you also get the stinking cute little eight inch so that you can make two wreaths. You can make two wreaths out of one of my kits. So in this particular one, you have the large sign, the small sign, and you also get the 16 inch round black form. And you also have the uh, 13 inch round for the smaller wreath, for the smaller sign. And it'll be so cute gonna be adorable so let me go ahead and bring y'all down let me bring you down here hey maria how are you doing hey janet perry hello you got your second vaccine today that's good for you marlene and girlfriend i'm so glad you was able to do that now in your kits my friends hey sandra kennedy how are you doing hey chanel jones waiting all day for me to come on girlfriend i almost didn't but i thought i need to get this done <coughs> Because my chair was calling to me, friends. I wanted to go sit down. Now, can you tell us again what punch we need to make the whole signs? Absolutely. I'm getting ready to do that. Uh, but I'll go ahead and tell you here. It's a Euro punch. Euro punch from Michaels in the jewelry section. And it's a 1.80 millimeter. Euro punch, 1.80 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Now, in your wreath kits, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, peach ribbon. Let me just set the sign right here for now as I go over it. Oops, we got like a little glare. I don't know how good that's going to work. Let's just do it like that. <laughs> I can't wait to get my <laughs> kit, Tracy says. Dawn oh. weather. Yeah. You, oh, cool. you haven't got it yet, Tracy? Yeah. This is unbelievable. Yeah. You guys used to get my kit so quick, and now because of the weather yeah. and everything else, it's just getting slower. Just want to order ribbon from your shop. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley Walls, you're so funny, girl. Okay, now this is the Funky Bow Ribbon. I cut it at 24 inches, and you're going to need nine each. 24 inches, and you're going to need nine each. Hi, Ellen. How are you doing? And these are your uh, ribbon tails. You're going to need to cut them at 13. I mean, you're going to need to come at 13 inches, and you'll need nine each. Nine each, cut at 13 inches. Aren't these just going to be so, so pretty with that? It's going to be amazing, friends. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to make your curls. Yes, I'm doing 18 bundles. You can already see how beautiful this is all going to go with that sign, right? Mm -hmm. So, in your kits, you have the white, the yellow, and the orange. The white, the yellow, and the orange, my friends, right? 
and they're all cut at 10 inches and you'll need 18. 10 inches and you'll need 18. No yeah. power, no water for millions of, oh my gosh, Tracy. Oh Lord have mercy. Hey Ann, how are you doing? Now right here, I'm just folding this over about half an inch and then I'm rolling it gently, just rolling it gently. See how gently I'm doing that? I'm not making it too tight. Just fold it over maybe half an inch. Do that, half an inch maybe, and just roll. Um, you can see how I'm doing it slowly this time. I was told I kind of do things a little fast, so y'all have to forgive me. Let me bring you over just a little bit. You see my honey over there too, right? Hey, Lou Ann Brock, how are you? <laughs> Adele, you yeah, they're beautiful colors, aren't they? And Nancy, they really are. Let me show you something here, friends. If you see a little piece sticking up like that, don't let that worry you. Just go ahead and snip it off. Just go ahead and snip that crazy stuff off. You don't need to see that. I crisscross two. Take the third one, put it in the center. Squeeze that really good. So hold on to it. Then you take half of a pipe cleaner, and all of this is in your kit. All of it's in your kit. It says peace, Reese should say the peach instead. Uh, um, what was that? It says peace, Reese, but it should say, oh, sorry, uh, Diana. <laughs> I do have a peach or a peace Reese kit that I'm doing. Oh, my Lord Jesus. That's next week, though. I'm going to have to change that in my title when I get off here. <laughs> sorry, friends. Okay, now just lift up those cute curls. And then just tie it off underneath. See that? Hey, Teresa Davis, how are you? Hello, my friends. It's going to be gorgeous. I know, Kelly, isn't it, girlfriend? Hey, Rosie Haskell, how are you doing? Hey, Wendy Lou. Hey, Wendy Lou, how are you this evening? Snip that off. And I just go ahead and clean up these curls a little bit, just like this. Just clean them up a little bit. If you see some fraying, you know, we'd like to go ahead and take care of it. I uh, made my big, first big wreath last night watching one of your vid videos while I was doing it. Oh, Tony, I bet it was gorgeous. Bet it was gorgeous. If you are part of Wreathing with Mac, go ahead and post a picture of that. We'd love to see it. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. See, I'm folding it over about half an inch. Go ahead and roll, roll, roll. Just like this. And we're going to do the same thing here. Once again, all three of these colors are cut at 10 inches, and you'll need 18 of them. Somebody asked, do we sell the peach ribbons? No, we don't sell ribbons, mm -hmm. only in our kits. Uh, Crisscross two, put the third one in the center, give it a squeeze just like that. And I'm holding that pretty tight, too. Wrap a, a half a pipe cleaner around it, okay? Uh, Dana Campbell just in her kits. Yes, just in my kits. Thank you, Melissa. I lift those curls up to get to that pipe cleaner. And then I tie that off pretty tight. Pretty tight. Summer peaches. Ray Ann, let me tell you, there's nothing like ripe peaches in the summertime warmed by the sun. Mm-mm-mm. You love watching my videos. Oh, thank you, Wendy Lou. I appreciate that. appreciate that a lot. Now I'm snipping that little pipe cleaner off. Once again, looking to see if there's a little bit of fraying, because you know all mesh does fray. There's our curls. All right. Now, let me go ahead and bring over. What are you laughing at, honey? Oh, one of them's getting a, 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 a piece kit, and their dog is excited about <laughs> getting because he gets a, a, one of them uh, dog bones from oh. the UPS people. When oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kathy Maroney. Okay, now, friends, in your kit, you have this 21-inch gorgeous orange wide metallic mesh. This, I love using this as a base. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm just going to put this in here. <clears throat> and we are going to do 12-inch poofs on the top, 12-inch poofs on the bottom. This is a 16-inch elevated work reform. There's eight ties on the top, ten ties on the bottom. Uh, it's been a very trying week. Got the Easter truck kit, which will turn that around. Oh, there you go, Debbie. We're praying for you, girl. Oh, yeah, no, staying safe, no. praying for everybody who has no electricity or water. Isn't that so true? Nancy, good Friday to you too, girlfriend. Hey, Etta Kirkman. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you buy the kits? Laura, my Etsy is pinned at the bottom of the screen. Just go ahead and um, click on that. It'll take you to my Etsy shop. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on and that you favorite my shop. 
so that you get notified when I list something new. And I think I do have some more left in there. Uh, I have listed two kits about two or three hours, well, about two hours ago. So you might want to go in there and take a check, take, check them out. All right, now I go ahead and make sure my ends are turned under and that I, it naturally creates that poof. Now I'm going to find a place on my work reform that I have a tie that's pretty close. Okay, I have a tie right here. I want to see if I can get one that's right below it, uh, pretty much right down below it. And that'll make sense here in a little bit. Now I'm going to place that mesh directly in the center of that tie. I'm going to just zip tie that thing right in there. And the zip ties are included in your kit. At least three of them are. Okay, three of them are, my friends. Hey, Marcy Garcia, how are you doing? Hey, Jan Lowry, Pamela Wallace. Hey, girlfriend. Deanna Simmons, how are you this evening? All right, now I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. Snip that off. Be careful. I almost, almost got my finger. <laughs> almost got my finger. You almost bought the peaches and went with the lemons now. I'm going to have to order more. Oh, gosh, there you go, girl. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just gather this with my hands. See that, friends? Making sure the ends are turned under. Now, coming over here measuring 12 inch poops. 12 inch poops, my friends. Yes, I'm waiting for the camping one to come back out. Oh, no. Oh, we no. actually have. Honey, you want to grab that yeah. ribbon right there and I'll show them. Um, hopefully, friends, I'll be able to do that one next week. If not next week, it'll be the week after. But this is the next camping ribbon that we have that I'm going to use. Isn't this adorable? It's backwards, but it does say RV there yet. RV there yet. <laughs> camper, sweet camper. I love this ribbon. Absolutely love that ribbon. So that's going to be in one of my kits, too. It's going to be stinking adorable. Stinking adorable. That's all we got to say. Hey, Catherine from West Virginia. How are you doing today, girlfriend? Hey, Renee. Hey, Mabel and Yvette. How are y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing wonderful. Thank y'all for popping on here with me. I appreciate it. Hey, Jada. How are you? And Rhonda Fred. You did catch me live, Brenda. Hey, girlfriend. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Carolyn from Alabama. Maria and Shelby Walker. Stephanie Davis, how are you, my friend, how are you? Like I said, I'm just walking it right here with my hand, making sure my ends are turned under, coming over here measuring 12 inch poops, 12 inch poops. You can see when you uh, make sure that your mesh is turned under, it almost creates that poof for you without you having to mess with it too much, especially when you have like a wide metallic mesh like this, it's nice and stiff. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love this. Yes, indeed. You love the camping one? Oh, gosh, Rayanne, I do too, girlfriend. I do too. Hey, Michelle Myers, how are you doing? Hello, my friends. Hello. Hey, Joan Stout, how are you doing? Cheryl Puller, Joni, Barbara from Lexington. Hello. It's been, it's been a, it's been one heck of a day, hasn't it, honey? Yep. My honey went uh, traveling all over. They went to Target for me and to Walmart picking up uh, plastic hefty tubs that has the high-rise lids. And he's been organizing some of my ornaments for me. He made me a U-shaped workstation in my craft room so that when I do my ornament wreaths, I don't have to do it in here in the shop, friends. I can just do it in my craft room. Studio B. <laughs> Studio B. <laughs> Which used to be my old shop. Yep. So it, that works out perfect just for my ornament wreaths and things like that. Where I'll do my paint pours and my handmade cards and all that good stuff. Because I love to do crafts. I'm just not a wreath maker. I love to do crafts as well. Right? <laughs> all right. Oh, good in Florida, Brenda. Oh, can't wait to see this wreath when it's done. It's going to be gorgeous. What kind of mesh are you using? Carolyn, this is a wide metallic mesh. It's a deco poly mesh, wide metallic. All right, now I'm gathering this in my hand. See that? Now I'm going to come down here. 
I'm placing it right between those two ties. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just going to zip tie it in, but I got to move it back over this way so that it doesn't get a crooked on me. You know, I don't want to get a crooked. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Crooked. <laughs> or is it just my accent? I don't know. Crooked? Crooked? That sounds almost like cricket. Crooked. Somebody's missing being with their daughter today on oh, their birthday. No. I know this COVID thing and plus all the other things going on. Yes. Everything's just the backwards. I, I hope yeah. everything changes. Me too, honey. I like being a family. Okay, we're going to do 12 inch poops here on the bottom as well. We'll come over here and measure. 12 inch poops on the two on the bottom as well, my friends. This is so pretty. It is absolutely gorgeous. You might want to know when I'm going to paint for them. Well, I'm a pretty picker painter. I don't know when I'm going to paint for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that is. You're just popping on Mary. I'm doing a welcome peach kit or a welcome peach wreath. It was a, a, a wreath kit that I sold. Wreath kit that I sold. Mm -hmm. Remember, 12 inch poops on top, 12 inch poops on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Uh, hopefully better days are ahead for us all. Maybe COVID will go away. We're going to all just have to no, pray that it goes away. away. Oh, Lordy, please let it go away. <laughs> I know y'all feel the same way too. You found placemats at Walmart, Rachel Wade. Girlfriend, that's a good place to get them too. Someone say, do you spray anything on this so it doesn't change color? No, I don't. Mm-mm. All uh, natural. It's all natural. All natural plastic. <laughs> Just like my hair, right, honey? Yeah, it's all natural. Just be sound, honey. Be nice. It's gorgeous. All he says it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so funny. Thank you, Kathy Carter. You're loving this. You may have to play some music here for entertainment. <laughs> hey, Doris McCoy, how are you doing? Oh, Lord. He's so funny. He's so funny. Oh my gosh. I love it when my honey is in here with me. And he helps read comments. It's so good. You lost your 14-year-old pet last night and you're heartbroken. Sandy, I know, girl. Uh, yeah, a Georgia peach. Georgia peach wreath. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was telling my honey uh, last night, I love to make um, fruit smoothies. And I like to actually freeze my own fruit. And I have a, what are those, uh, sealers? Gosh, what are those things called that I seal my fruit in? Those bags oh, and it's a um, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bag. It my sealer, it's, I have a sealer. <laughs> I'm just going to call it a I don't know what it's now. called. It just seals it. <laughs> and you can keep it in the freezer for years. Oh, my gosh. It helps with freezer burn. You don't have to worry about it too much, friends. It's really good. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for the strawberries to come out in May. Hey there, Maria newbie from Florence, South page. Carolina. Is there a newbie to the page? It's a newbie, somebody. Hey, somebody welcome newbie. to all newbies. Yes, welcome all newbies. Hey, Adelia from in San Antonio, Texas. You got the Easter one, Ramus. Thank you so much, Gladdy. Ramus Gladdy. Oh, my goodness, friends. Is there anything else that doesn't require a resale certificate to buy those exact three forms? Uh, no, the only place that I can find this particular reform is Sims Pottery. But I'm telling you, even they are sold out. Yeah. They are sold out of these reforms. You cannot even get them now. I don't know. And I got a, um, notice a letter today from my, one of my wholesalers telling me that uh, a lot of things, it's going to take a time for them to come in because the shipments, there's nobody to unload the, the containers at the docks yeah. so they can't send them back to get more supplies yeah. so they said it's going to be a while before i didn't tell you that honey i got that email today yeah, yeah. it's well, crazy that's pants. what they said it's like a half a million containers sitting off the coast of yeah. california they can't get unloaded yeah friends so y'all might want to get those wreath kits from me while you can because i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have reform. well we'll have the reform to uh, just change for a while and then yeah. we'll go back to the ones we'll that do we what always we can. like i did purchase some dollar tree reforms which i'm going to show y'all how to put your twist ties or chanel stems on and we will use those if we have nothing else hey there's nothing wrong with those they're just wired forms uh you just have to 
you know, put your own twist tabs on them or Chanel stems and Oh, well, we can make them do. I, I oh, it still looks just as pretty. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. I'll holds, show you. It holds a shape. Well, and... I don't have one right here right now. So. Uh, but once again, guys, for those of you who got this kit, 12-inch poofs on the top and 12-inch poofs on the bottom. Yes, indeed. And then I'm going to put, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, let me see that, honey. I'll show them. Hold on for a second. Let me, let me just tie this off real quick. This off. But I will make a video showing them how to do that. All right, let me cut this right here. My honey's good at reading the comments to me, too. <laughs> I do read occasionally. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, and I so appreciate it. Now, this right here, I'm going to go ahead and slip that inside my wreath form. Just move those poofs out of the way. See that? slide that in there and I kind of just lift that one back up do not move your tie out of its place that would not be good that would not be good so let me take another zip tie so you have three zip ties in your wreath kit if you want to do this now for this technique that I'm going to be doing with the overlay you'll need three more but hopefully you have some in your little stash they're eight inch zip ties mm -hmm. Now we have that beautiful base. Hand that to me, honey, and I'll show them. This right here is a Dollar Tree wreath form that I will show y'all how to put your, um, as you see, I was getting ready to do that. Uh, I actually hot glue those on so they'll stay in place. I didn't finish these down here because I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. There you go, honey, but that's all you have to do with those forms. Now your, your wreaths will be not as as this but some of you love that because mine are like go big go home <laughs> go big go home friends it's still going to look beautiful because you know it's the touch of the master's hand everybody bring a certain thing to it it's just like an old fiddle it looks old nobody wants it but you get somebody that get on it and they, everybody wants to buy that fiddle yeah that's and true. it's the same thing that reef and all you people technique. making these things it's so <laughs> just pretty. technique all right, friends, now in your wreath kit, you have this 10 inch. This is so pretty. I love, love, love this. This is a cotton ball. Actually, it's 10 and a half inch cotton ball mesh. And we're going to do a, a lay overlay on top of this orange. Now, don't judge me yet, friends. Just bear with me. Stick with me. It's going to be beautiful. Hey, honey, if you'd move up just. There all you right. go. That's all right. Now, for those of you just popping on, let me show you the sign. This is the sign. And this is the ribbon. It's going to be beautiful. We're doing a peach wreath. This is a wreath kit tutorial. Now all I'm doing is just gathering it at the end here like I did the orange. All right, oops. And making sure the ends are turned under. Let's find another place that they're really not too close together on this wreath form. So I want to start right here. I'm going to lay it directly on top of that orange mesh. I just opened the tie and lay it on top of the orange mesh. Now I'm going to zip tie that in. Just because that's what I like to do. No, this isn't for Halloween. This is the <laughs> peach one. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Okay. Hey, but you could. You, you could, could most certainly. Hey. Absolutely. Take it for Christmas in July. They could definitely do <laughs> Halloween in March. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but this, you may think I'm crazy, friends, but you can take the same base and use it for Halloween. Oh, you do, it's just not for a peach wreath, but for crying out loud. You can do so many different things with the same base. Absolutely. But this is going to be beautiful. And the, the uh, metallic is probably throwing you off. But be quite honest, I really wanted something fun and something blingy with this. Now, you most certainly could use like a matte orange if you wanted, if you didn't want it to be all blingy. And everybody's different, right? We have our own different tastes, and there are days that I want everything matte. But not many, not many friends, I have to admit. I, I like glitter. <laughs> I love glitter. Glitter. Oh, yeah, I'm going to set the sign over here glitter. Glitter. so y'all can glitter. see that. Okay. So y'all can like see that. Like that shirt. Glitter. 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 <laughs> glitter. Hey there, Ellen Rose. How are you doing? You love this black mesh, Gloria. I do too, girlfriend. 
I my heart's it. just going out to you people in Texas. Well, everybody's having a rough time. This that last oh. storm come through. Yeah. A lot of people. I'm glad power's getting back on, but it's a lot yeah. of cleanup. Oh, it is, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Water damage is awful. Oh uh, my gosh. You take your time and one day at a time. Yeah, one day you at can. Time. You know, one people day love you. At a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. Yep, mm -hmm. there you go. That's, that's what we say. Hey, Jane, how are that's you doing? Good. I'm doing wonderful, girl. Hope you are. Hello, Jane. Hello, my friend from Texas. Oh, hey, Tara Lopez. Hey, girlfriend. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Got my allergies are still bothering me. This, this weather has just been so wacky. It's just been, all right, I got to tell y'all, I woke up this morning and I looked at my weather map uh, my, <laughs> and it said it was snowing outside. I'm like, oh my gosh, we actually got snow. <laughs> so I went to the door and I'm like, it's not snowing outside. The sun was shining. <laughs> Somebody messed that up. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the other day she looked at it. Hey, it. She had a West Virginian sitting yeah. on that. So. <laughs> no, it was on West Virginia. Oh, I, I, they got it wrong. They yeah, got they, it wrong. Got it. they got it wrong, honey. They got it wrong. Okay, now I'm going to come down to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing. Now, this tie is way over here because I didn't have one that was like right below it. So I'm just going to be careful not to twist that. Now, I'm going to have to turn it this way. I opened the tie. See that? And I'm going to place it directly on top of that. So we'll come over here. Sorry about this, friends. You're not going to be able to see me do this because I have to be careful not to get it twisted. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zip tie that in there. I'm going to have to do it with my other hand here. Somebody had a car accident and they can't do any crafts for a couple of oh. weeks. I hope you heal up just fine. And... Yes. Oh, my goodness. Goodness no. gracious. Hey, Reva from West Virginia. How are you doing? All right, now, friends, when I start at the bottom, I like to make sure that my mesh is open. See that? All the way open. And then I just kind of gather it. First, I'm going to untie this tie here just a little. And I just gather that in my hand. Okay? Then I'm just going to go directly over top of that poof. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to measure it just as long as you go over top of that poof. Okay? And I just kind of make sure that you still see that uh, mesh that's underneath. Well, you don't want to cover up all of it because I love to see this beautiful orange metallic. Absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. You could even use a black base with this. It's fine if you wanted and the ribbons. That one's a little poofy, so let me just back that out just a little bit. There Hello there from Scotland. Scotland. Sandra. Oh, Debbie, are you talking to me about my laugh or are you talking about my honey? She does have a cute laugh, that's for sure. Yes, you do. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Cynthia Rain. Hey, girlfriend. How are you doing? Everybody saying hello to Scotland. Hello. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> uh -huh. I've watched a lot of different people make these, and you are the best. Some people are adding so many accessories, you can't see the mesh, and you have... Tony, thank you so much, girlfriend. I, I like to accessorize sometimes, but I do, I do like layers and textures, but I want to see all the layers and textures, you know? Um, I mean, I don't want to cover up all that beautiful mesh. Don't want to cover up all this beautiful mesh. Yeah, and this is not a Halloween wreath. <laughs> it's not, trust me, it's not. Okay, a little ghost right here. A little. Oh my gosh, you now that I'm, I'm thinking, boy, I need to make a Halloween wreath. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, I just love it all. I love making all of it. Uh, somebody said it was for you. They want to know your, that was your life that they loved your oh, life. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, oh, I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Aloha. Hello, hello. Mike from Hawaii. Deb Hodgkins. Send, Deb. Send Hold the it. weather. Deb. Deb Hodgkins. Girlfriend, I was talking about you the other day. I still have your snowman wreath and your giveaway prize. Yes, girlfriend. I tried to find you on Messenger, but there were so many. I didn't know who, <laughs> which one you were. 
girl, you need to message me, PM me. Um, I want. I, I was worried. I was telling MG, I'm like, I'm worried about Deb. I, I just didn't know what was going on. And I'm so glad I saw you on here, girlfriend. Hey, Betty Jean. How are you doing? Hey, Mary Whitaker, how are you doing? You're late. You love the orange and black. Girlfriend, You, I know you're thinking it's a Halloween, don't you? <laughs> hey, Tammy. I'm going to go find me a ghost <laughs> one right now. Put it next to the uh, pizza. Yolanda, you like to see the layers too, girl? I know. You and me think alike, girl. That's the way I love it. I love seeing the layers. I absolutely love it. I just love textures. I love different layers. Just so pretty. And I know doing it this way, it is a little bit more work. You know, I most certainly could just leave the orange base and do, go ahead and put some ribbons and a sign on. And I could sell those all day long. Yes, I could. I could, I could probably make 20 of those simple wreaths oh, yeah. in a day. But I, I, love, I love all the different stuff in mine. <laughs> I love the different looks. They're all so pretty and different. Oh, I love this. But I'm thinking that might be up just a little too much. I'm going to back that down just a little bit. Because I can. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Cut that off. Let's remove that. Whoopsie. I just pulled that right out of there. There we go. There we are. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this. And put that inside the wreath form just like I did the orange. Making sure I don't move that tie out of its place once again, right? I have to fix that one. Take a zip tie, zip tie that to my frame. Okay. Let's snip this off. Then I'm going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Just because I like everything to look nice and neat. Now, we have this stinking cute base that we're going to use for our peach wreath, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some curls. And when I add these curls, it's going to start lighting this up. Uh, that's what you want to look for. You want to look for a good balance. So, I'm going to put these curls, and you have to remember, these are the ribbons that we're going to be using. And the yellow in the ribbons will absolutely brighten it up as well. Isn't that so pretty? It's going to be gorgeous gonna be gorgeous now i made 18 of those curls i'm untying that tie and i'm placing my curls vertical right on top of that just directly on top okay now you you bear with me it's gonna be beautiful <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful yes it is now i want to make sure that you can see that beautiful um snowball mesh or actually it's cotton ball mesh and that orange underneath okay mm -hmm. you have watched others making wreaths but no one does it better than you oh thank you so much Jacqueline I appreciate that there are some wonderful beautiful wreath makers MCR. out there MCR. Mm -hmm. we all have our own little techniques and uh, different ways of doing things. Ah, that's what I love. We're all just so different. I've said this how many times, honey? Be oh, uniquely oh, you. Be uniquely you. There's only and you'll one of you. Never it. have to worry about anything else. Nope, that's right. Just be you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's okay to learn techniques. Absolutely, learn all as many techniques as you can because then you know you can have fun changing them up a little bit and maybe doing something a little different. You may not want to put curls in your wreath like I do. I just love it. And I think it's just, see how pretty it's all starting to come together with that sign? It's just amazing. You need that for your daughter. You love the peach theme. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm, I do too. I'm going to be getting some peaches this year. <laughs> I'm going to be freezing some of those. Mm -hmm. So that I can put them in my fruit uh, fruit smoothies. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, gonna be lovely. Mm -hmm. Gonna be lovely. I gotta go out there and trim them trees. Yes, you do, honey. Hey, Kimberly, mm. how are you doing? Thank you, Carol. It is it's beautiful, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Hey, Candy's Reed Shop, how are you doing? And Pat Turner, Candy's Reed Shop. Oh my gosh, that's the last thing I need at the moment. Boy, I love candy. Love, love, love myself some candy. What sides are the curls, honey? What the, curls the curls are... Carolyn asked. Uh, Carolyn, the curls are uh, cut at 10 inches. 
It's a 10 inch mesh, cut at 10 mm -hmm. inches. And if you want to do this technique, you'll need 18 each of the orange, the white, and the green. Cut at 10 inches. And they are held together with a chenille stamp or pipe cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And when I come down to the bottom and adding my curls, let me show you what I'm doing here. I like to open my tie just a little bit. It's open completely, but I don't pull, pull it all apart because if you do that, your mesh is going to come out. But I like to just go ahead now and push that curl right in there, that little curl bundle, tie it off twice. And I love the way it's inset. It's just so pretty like that. Oh, thank you, Lillian. Lillian. Hey, is it Lillian? Leland. Leland or Lillian? Thank you so much, girlfriend. Hey, Dorissa. Uh, yes, I do, Charmaine, I sure do uh, horizontal sometimes. Uh, it just depends on the look that I'm going for. Just depends. Just depends, my friend. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And there's no right or wrong. If you want to go uh, horizontal, go horizontal. Yeah, that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to email you after the shoe. After what? After the shoe. After the shoe? Yeah. Oh, after the show? Deanna, email at <laughs> craftymaxbff at gmail.com. Craftymaxbff at gmail.com. Honey, be on the lookout for Deb Hog Hoggins' um, response. I hope she messages me. Mm -hmm. I've just been praying for her. I've just been so concerned. <laughs> and I've been looking at that. That she's snowman okay. is so pretty, huh? Hopefully she's okay. Nothing hey, Jean from cold Ohio. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Ohio. I have to tell you, this is going to be a beautiful wreath. This will be available for purchase in my Etsy shop tomorrow. In my Etsy shop tomorrow, my friends. Yeah, I know. A lot of y'all go up to my Etsy shop. Melissa, you don't have no wreaths in there. I know, my friends. They just keep selling out as fast as I put them in there. And I appreciate that so much. Thank y'all so much. I have a lot of customers on here. And y'all all are so sweet. I tell you. I have the best customers. I have the best followers. Now, look how nice and full that is. Isn't it nice and full? Now, we're going to take this sign... Now remember, in your kits, you have two wreath forms. The two wreath forms are a 16 inch and a 13 inch. You have two signs, because remember, you can make two wreaths out of my kits. So you have the 11 and 3 quarter inch, and you also have the eight inch sign for the smaller wreath, using all the leftover supplies in your kit. And it's beautiful and just so pretty. It's a 24 inch round, the smaller one is. Now, I'm going to put a hole in the top, the bottom, and one on each side. So, we'll come up here. I'm going to just try to make sure I can see the best of my ability where the center is. She gets a 24-inch reform. It's a 24-inch elevated work reform. But what that really means, it's 16 inches round in circumference. 16 inches round in circumference. Just like a 2 by 4 is an inch and a half by 3 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but they call it a two before, and this, uh, I, I don't understand no, the language. don't understand it, do we, honey? It is what it is. Okay, guys, now this punch that I am using, it's a Euro punch from Michaels, and I got it from the jewelry section. So you could probably pick this up uh, from any craft store, I'm sure. That's a Euro punch, 1.80 millimeter. 1.80 millimeter, okay? You don't want your holes any bigger than that. You really, really don't. Now, in your kits, you have four Chanel, black chenille stems that I'm going to use for the sign, and I'm just putting that right through that little hole and just tying it off. Tying it off real good. Okay? Just like that. Come over here. Do the same thing. Easy peasy, right? Do you One, have six reefs in your closet? Because Rebecca. I'm checking that you're all Rebecca Pledge. Girlfriend. You're going to make time. You just You've don't got to you do, do them. One at a time. Debbie, this one is sold out. This one is sold out. I do have a... Gosh, what did I just list? I listed two kits. Oh, one was an Easter kit, and another one was a peace, peace. kit. That's what it was, a peace, peace. kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I don't know if they're sold out. I don't know how many's left. So, oh yeah, I'm loving this. Loving this a lot. Wait until this sign goes on here. People want to know if we're going to be selling the tool kit soon. soon. Uh, hopefully, probably, hmm. hopefully in two or three weeks. It takes time to get that many supplies. Um, Especially right now. In order, yes, oh my gosh. I don't know, it's, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm so excited about that. Now, I'm going to move these curls out of the way and just let them hug that sign real cute like. Okay? Oopsie. And they will do want to pop up a little bit. And I like my sign inset just a little. Just a little, my friends. Okay? Now, if you're one of those people that likes your sign to float on the top, that's okay. Go ahead. They can float on the top. Whatever you want. All right, now I'm going to pull this back towards me to make sure it's centered, okay? That looks pretty darn good. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go straight down. Right there is where I have that attached to my sign. I'm going to go straight through the mesh, but not my curls. I don't like to go through my curls and like, unless I want, in case I want to move them. All right, just reaching underneath to grab a hold of that, okay? Going to wrap it around and I'll show you here in just a minute how I'm doing it underneath. How big should the sign be? Well, this sign is 11 three quarter inch. Now, for the smaller wreath, I like the eight inch round ones. Mm -hmm. He was lucky enough to get one of the summer kits this week. Oh, that's so wonderful, Nan. Thank you, girlfriend. There's still some kits on my, on my um, Etsy shop. Um, not this one. This one's sold Please, out already. Yeah. You're excited about the toolkit too, Debbie Snooks? Well, I'm, I'm working on a Melissa's Basic Toolkit and a Deluxe. Two price points. Okay, now the Deluxe one obviously is going to be quite expensive because I'm going to try to put uh, Susie's um, collapsible mesh roller in it too. So, and it takes time for her to make those. Yeah, she they, they make those. Uh, as soon as they get the orders. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. All right, I'm going to tie this one off underneath. Just be patient with all this, guys. If you're new to wreath making, it's okay if you feel uh, that you have all, you know, 10 thumbs. I say this all the time. It's going to be okay. The more you do it, the easier it's going to become, right, honey? Yep. Somebody's getting ready to make a wreath, Angie, Angel or Angie for a patient door at the hospital she's a nurse oh that that'd be so, so sweet. that's gotta be cute oh i love that that is so sweet of you to do that i remember somebody bringing it one of the nurses for my daughter had a surgery a long long time ago they brought her a little bear and we call it just a little thing called sky blue skies and Mm -hmm. Oh, that was such a touching thing. Never <laughs> underestimate the gift of not only that the girl, the nurse gives, but yeah. just the receiver of it. It's yeah. just precious time. That's right. Wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you, doctors and nurses. Thank you, Chanel, for loving these colors. I appreciate that, girl. Hey, Betty Duluna, how are you doing? Okay, now I am going to come over here to the last one. Now, if you see some fraying, just go ahead and snip it off. You can go ahead and snip that stuff off, friends. We don't need that fraying on there at all. Anita. Okay. Now, over here is the last one. I'm going to go straight down. Right here is where it's connected to my sign. Sorry about the lights, guys. I'm going to go straight down with that pipe cleaner, reaching underneath. Moving that mesh out of the way and reaching underneath. I'm not going through my curls because if I do, I may not be able to move them if I want to. Now, I just grabbed it with this hand underneath. Now, right here it is. Right there is where I'm going to tie it off. Right above that is where the sign is. So I'm going to tie it off on this inner bar here. Not my outer one, but this inner one, okay? That's what, what I'm doing underneath that you can't see me doing. <laughs> it's important to know that it's okay to make all oh, Cynthia Ring girl. No, not really you mistakes. Count many. They're not mistakes. Because you can always fix something. If yeah. it doesn't look right, you can always take a ribbon off here or there. Or if you don't like a certain color. But yes, if you consider a mistake, it's okay. We, mm. we, we all make mistakes, friends. Isn't that how you learn? 
-hmm. We wouldn't know that we're doing something right if we don't if we don't have mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so true. But look how cute this is. Oops, so it's got a hold of me here. I gotta get these sleeves. Start wearing short sleeves. But there we go, friends. Now, now, isn't those colors? The colors are just so pretty with this. So pretty. Now we're gonna start adding some gorgeous ribbons. Now here is the funky bow ribbon. Okay, this is the two and a half inch peach ribbon, and you're gonna need nine each, and they're cut at 24 inches. Nine each, cut at 24 inches. All right. Now these uh, peaches are going all different ways. Honey, would you move just a second? Sorry, honey, I get I just uh, <laughs> taking up your space. That's okay. I just want to get my ribbons on. I don't want to get them squished. Now, right here, this is about a five-inch loop, and then you're going to love this ribbon. It stands to attention very well. <laughs> it pays attention, people. Thank you, Doreen. Now, right here, I'm going to twist this tail around, okay, and I'm going to move this loop over just so that it's lined up with those tails. See that right there? Isn't that beautiful? Now, I like to start up here at the top. If your ties are long enough, you can twist that tie up just a little bit so that your ribbons aren't way down in your wreath or underneath your sign. Now, I'm wrapping that tie around the back of this uh, loop here, giving it a squeeze in the center, and just fluff it out. Just fluff it out. If you don't twist your ribbons in those ties, it should be able just to lay real pretty for you, just like that. Yes, yeah. that black wreath, that black mesh just popped with the little white Oh, yeah, it's the, perfect. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. That. Yes, it's mm -hmm. just really pretty. I love I love different colors and different textures. I think it just makes your, gives your wreath a little bit more interest. And, you know, it does take a little bit longer to make them, you know, maybe 30 minutes longer, but I think it's well worth it. Howdy. Okay, these are the tails. They're cut at 13 inches, and you will need nine each for those of you who purchased the kit. I don't know if you can see on this sign or not, or even on these ribbons, but there's yellow on those ribbons and on the sign. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, friends. It's so going to be gorgeous. I feel like having this peak shake right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Just so pretty. Mm -hmm. So once again, this is about a five inch loop. Twist the tail around. You love the colors, thank you guys. Oh, thank you Joyce Harding. Uh, this was a kid, Deborah. they all sold out. They all sold out, girlfriends. But I'll probably, if I can get these ribbons again, cause I've had quite a few requests for this peach kit, I will try to offer it one more time. If I can get, um, you know, the ribbons. Because this ribbon here is just so gorgeous with that sign. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. Um, you're still waiting on this order? Maria, when was this thing shipped? I can't believe you guys are still waiting on your order. Yeah, I'll do. I'm have to weather's see when been I sold pretty it. bad. Weather's been pretty bad. Oh, it has, hadn't it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But it's been bad for like a week. Yeah. Wow. All through the Midwest. And another one's oh, coming through. I hope no. it doesn't hit nobody. I hope it just turns into a little light showers. Yeah. I think I'm going to make a little X with these ribbons and bring them <laughs> up towards the sign at the bottom here. I think that'll be look cute. Just really cute, kind of like that. See that? I love that look right there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It looks so cute. Now, once again, this Funky Bow Ribbon's cut at 24 inches, and you'll need nine each. And I just kind of ruffle right here, just like that, gather it. That's about five inch loop. Now, you can measure it if you want. I'm gonna twist this tail around, once again. And I'm gonna move that loop over, just so it lines up. See, just move it over, because I'm holding it pretty tight right there. So it lines up with your ribbons. Yes, Pete. Uh Chick-fil-A does have very good peach shakes. Who does? Chick-fil-A. Oh, gosh. Ash and I would go, well, she wants every birthday. She wants that. <laughs> You've been there with her. Oh, yeah, honey. I shake. Oh, that is so pretty, guys. This is, for those of you who got this kit, I hope you really enjoy making it. I don't know if you're white like me, but when I'm making something and it starts to all come together, 
it is just so stunning the end result uh, just remember you know you're building on layers you may not like the first layer by itself or the second layer but when you start adding the third the fourth and the fifth layer you're going to start seeing how everything blends in together and how well balanced it is okay love 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 these ribbons now, you can most certainly point your ribbons to the outside of your wreath if you want. You can make X's with your with your ribbons. What are you laughing at, honey? Tracy says, I'm working on the wreath kit with you, and I asked my husband how does it look, and he says, puff. <laughs> <laughs> that puffy, puffy. It's, that's my it's kind puffy. of a wreath, Tracy, girlfriend. It's my kind puff. of wreath. Tell your husband I love poofy. <laughs> I know. Craving oh. fresh peaches. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I know, Judy Pag, girlfriend. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Thank you, Kim Gambar Bardora. Thank you, girlfriend. Hope I can do this just about two kids. You can, Rosie. You can do it, girl. Just take your time, girlfriend. Just take your time. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be, be proud of your first accomplishment. If it's your first wreath you've ever done, you know what? Thank God that you're trying something new and you're not letting fear of failure stop you. Even if you don't like your first wreath, start your second one, start your third one, and trust me, by the time you make about five or six wreaths, it's going to start coming together for you. Now, not saying that it won't when you make your first one. I made my first one, friends, and let me tell you, I made mistakes on... I think I made every mistake on my first wreath. Oh, my problem was I didn't watch anybody. <laughs> you know, because I had watched some wreath makers, like little Connie. She was just the sweetest little lady. And, and then Tammy Harris Hodges with Polka Dot Wreath Co. But Tammy. I thought, oh, I, I can do that. So when I made my first wreath, I didn't bother to look at the videos again. <laughs> I probably should have. So I made all my mistakes on the first one. My second one, I was ready to go. I was ready to go, friends. I loved it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. And I've been making them ever since, haven't I, honey? Yes, you have. Making them ever since. And we've got to meet that <laughs> wonderful lady, too. Now, up here at the top, I am making an X, just like I did at the bottom, just to kind of bring a little bit more interest to the top and the bottom, because I'm not doing bows on my wreaths, other than the funky bows here. So I think that's going to be really, really pretty. Look at that. Now I'm going to go ahead and start doing my ribbons around the outside. <laughs> there you go, Brenda. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't look like a Halloween by the time I got finished with it. <laughs> Maybe there's, no, there's no boo on you that. You know what we could there's do, no though? Boo. We could throw some spiders on here because oh, they like no. peaches. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We could throw some spiders on here, people. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Thank you, Maria Wilson, girlfriend. Hello, hey, hey, Stephanie. Okay, let's see here. Funky bow loop, funky bow loop. Okay, go right here. Right there. That's what I'm thinking anyway. She said, she said I made my first wreath and entered into a contest and won first place. Oh, Where my you go, Donna gosh. R. Morrison. Donna Morrison, congratulations, girlfriend. You know you gotta love that. See, I know it. You That's what I'm talking about. Too. Just take your time. Just take your time, friends. You know what? We need to have dreams, and we need to sometimes act on our dreams. If we always dream, oh, I'd like to be a wreath maker, and yes, that can be a dream. Yeah. That can be an a go that can be a goal. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. I love it. I mean, I have customers who are not wreath makers. They're customers who make wreaths for their families. You know, I sell to all different people. Wreath makers, just customers who do it for the ones they love, for themselves. And I just love that. Love it. Because, you know, <coughs> if you have a wreath kit where everything's picked out for you, my gosh, you know, I think the hard part's done. I love how talented you are. Your wreaths are so beautiful. Thank you, Mary Wilson, girl. You are so, you think you're so kind. Thank you so much. You love the buffalo plaid too, Tiffany. I'm telling you, girl. I love that buffalo pad. plaid. Now, let me tell you. My BFF, sister-in-law, Patricia, 
Y'all know her. She works here in the shop. I have ordered so much of this ribbon and the two and a half inch ribbon. She's about ready to pull her hair out. She doesn't know where to put it all. <laughs> Honey, I ordered four cases of the two and a half inch today. <laughs> and she's like, I said, listen, just you wait until Christmas comes around. We're going to use all of that. <laughs> We're going to use it all, friends. Yep. You made your first St. Patty's Day wreath and my brother tried to buy it from me. Oh my gosh, you just got it done today. It was because of your tutelage and your patience and sorry. Oh my gosh, Linda Williams. Nothing better than having your brother want to buy your oh, stuff. Oh yes, isn't, <laughs> that, isn't that the truth? That's right. <laughs> that is so true. Well, congratulations so there, Linda. That is so wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Hey, let me show you what I just did. Sometimes these are pulled out a little bit, your ties. You can actually push those in a little bit too if you want. They, if they're jutting out a little bit too much. So just go ahead and push them in a little bit. I think I'm going to move this up here. Mm. And then just spread that out like that. See how pretty that is. Move them around the curl. Move them around the curls, friends. You love the peach, Valerie. Hey, Val, how are you doing there, girlfriend in New York? Uh, no, that's not a, a dumb question, Angie. I What I do with the wreath kits, I send an instruction sheet that has, like, it will say the peach ribbon, the two and a half inch peach, peach ribbon is for the funky bow. Cut nine of them at 24 inches. I'll tell you how, what, what size you should cut your uh, curls. And uh, things like that. What mesh to use for what. Now, as far as detailed step by step by step, I don't. That's why I do tutorials. Um, sometimes I think that seeing and doing it is e better than reading it. Well, it is for me anyway, because I'm a visual person. <laughs> so that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kim Baxley. How are you, girl? Hey there, Jolene from Hawaii. How are you? Now, don't be concerned if your ribbons get lined up. That is normal. That's normal, like the, the these tails and this funky bow's getting ready to line up a little bit. Not a problem. Now, you can most certainly cut your ribbons a, a different length than I do. I cut my tails, my ribbon tails at 13 inches, and my funky bow ribbon at 24. But you can cut it at 25 inches and then the ribbon tails at 14 if you want. I just like mine a little shorter. No big deal, right? My curls are 10 inches, Annette. 10 inches. All three colors are cut at 10 inches, and you'll need 18 of them for each tie. Maybe. And I connect my curls with a Chanel Maybe stem. we can make this into a peach cobbler. What do you think? Oh, gosh. You know mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. With some hot peach cobbler oh. with some vanilla ice cream. Oh. Now, I'm not an ice cream eater, oh. but when it comes to cobblers, and if they're hot pipe and hot cobblers. Is there any cobbler levelers out there? <laughs> Peach? <laughs> Ooh, apple. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like an apple strudel. Is it apple strudel? Oh, yeah. Or apple crumble? Is it an apple crumble? Well, pie? there was a Sergeant Schultz that loved the apple strudel. <laughs> uh, what in the world is sprinkles? Joyce, that is when somebody, I think, shares my page, follows my page, likes, follows, and shares my page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm just crisscrossing that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now. Good night. Good night. I'm like saying good night. Oh, Kathy Mahoney. Thank you so much, girlfriend, for being on here. Good night, girlfriend. You sleep good. Mm hmm. You sleep good, girlfriend. Blackberry, yummy. Oh, my oh. gosh. You love the peach. Oh, but. Mm. Sally Rust, you made peach color cobbler yesterday. Blackberry, oh, oh gosh, that's a good one too. Oh. oh my gosh, I love strawberry as well. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Raspberries. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might not be good for me in my waistline, Gooseberry but. Gooseberry cobbler. But that's what walking exercise is for, right? Mm -hmm. Or that's what I keep telling myself every time I go by my treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a good color. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Blueberry and blackberry cobbler. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's the last ribbon. And then I'm going to put my tubing in and we're going to call this done. 
except for my hanger and my placemat on the back. Mm -hmm. Except for the hanger and the placemat on the back. But look how pretty this is, friends. Look if I mention pretty. cobbler, I have to fence it up, my husband says. Ha oh, ha! Gosh. I wish that worked. I've been mentioning it all the time. <laughs> now, in your wreath kits, my friends, that who purchased this, you have two tubings. You have the yellow jute, and you have that gorgeous orange jute. And that's what I'm going to use to finish this off. Yep. I'm going to finish it off with that. I like to do them both at the same time. And be careful how much you're using because you don't want to run out uh, like I've done on occasion. Okay, if you want to measure that, that's about 14, 15 inches. Okay, and I'm just placing it in on top of the tie and wrapping it around and just lifting them up. I like them lifted up a little bit. I always say the tubing's like the sprinkles on a cupcake. I love it. And you don't have to make them too big. See, that's not very big. But I do kind of give a little twist in the center before I put it on. Just lay it down in there. Okay, tie it off twice and lift them up. I love this look. This is gorgeous. It really does make me want to have some peach pie. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joyce Harding. Hey, Sue Ingram, how are you doing? Peach crisp. Barbara, correct, my friend, you're talking my language. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. I wonder um, if we can get Ashley to make us a peach uh, cobbler tomorrow, honey. I think oh. that would be very wonderful. Yes, it would. I'll have to ask her number one or number two. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Two, 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 two cobblers. Oh, two cobblers. No, just one, honey. We don't need two. Oh, that would be very, very bad. We have See, two. you're always thinking of one. <laughs> one is done, two, three. Oh, gosh. Now you're throwing my own words back at me. Oh, my gosh, friends. <laughs> Did you use copper overlay on the orange? Uh, no, the, the wreath might look like it's copper overlay. Oh, honey, what did you drop? It's because it's an orange metallic. It's an orange wide metallic 21 inch that I used as the base. I'm going to... Maybe trim that just a hair. There we go. Like that better. Because I want to give it just a little bit of bling. You know, sometimes when you when you look at your peach cobblers, think about this. When you think about your peach cobblers when they come out of the oven, sometimes people sprinkle a little bit of sugar on mm. top of them, you know. Mm -hmm. Or even that crumble. Oh, my gosh. It uh -huh. has that glistening look. Well, that's what that looks like. All right. <laughs> I mean, these people, I, I'm going to have to go someplace and find a collar. Oh, my now. gosh. I know. I know. Sorry, folks. We didn't mean to make you want to go to the fridge. <laughs> it's all right, friends. Get some ice cream. And thank you, Trini. Thank you, girlfriend. Oh, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Hello, Mary Pearl. How are you doing tonight? Sure, and doing cinnamon. Tonight? Oh, God. There's something like cinnamon in the Ooh. house when you when you make that apple oh. butter. Yes, I make uh, homemade apple butter, friends, in my crock pot, and I, and I cook it all night long. So it our house just smells wonderful for like 48 hours. I'm a canner, too, friends. I like to can my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Somebody's trying to make the welcome sign that they want. Oh, a welcome sign, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Debbie Snooks. You're starving. Judy Pack says she's starving. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's Stuart's fault. Judy, it's Stuart's fault. <laughs> I'm used for the bus to go open my... <laughs> oh, my, my gosh. Bus. All right, friends. Y'all ready to see this? Oh, my goodness gracious. I have to say, this is really very pretty. Move that out of the way. We may have to make some apples and some strawberry boots, honey. I have to blow my nose. Oh no, you're making me laugh, honey. You're making me laugh. Oh, it's all the allergies to the cinnamon and the sugar <laughs> from the peach cobbler. <laughs> got her allergies. Yeah, I got that. Oh boy, gosh, look how pretty that is just in the picture. Let me bring y'all up ribbon wall, my fireplace. And there's my Ray Dunn cups. Y'all just see it all. 
<laughs> All right, now for those of you who've got this kit, you can make your wreath and it can look just like this. Look how gorgeous that is. Holy cow, honey, this thing is beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, it doesn't look like a Halloween wreath now, does it? Nope. You just see the black, a little bit of that black underneath now, mm -hmm. but it complements the ribbons and it complements that sign perfectly, just perfectly. And you see the yellow on the peaches on the sign now and on the ribbons? So, so gorgeous, friends. Thank y'all so much. Now, for those of you who purchased this kit, I am going to use, let me see here, hold on for a second. I'm going to move this down my leg. I will use this as my ribbon uh, for my hanger. I'm going to use that for my hanger. And I will either use, boy, I could use uh, orange, a yellow, a black, or even a white placemat on the back of this. It'll clean it up so beautifully. I'm thinking I might use yellow. I think yellow would be stunning. That or orange. I'll probably use yellow or orange. So there you go, my friends. Oh, you have a good night too, Gloria, girlfriend. Thank y'all so much. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Valerie McDonald. Y'all are so good. Thank the yellow all does make a pop. Answer the questions. Huh? There's quite a few of them that answered questions. And thank people. you for those of you who follow me so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And y'all answer so many questions for me, for people who pop in on my page. And I really appreciate you doing that. And if you're new to my page, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you come back. And I've enjoyed your live tutorials. Oh, you're addicted, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy Carper. Thank you, girlfriend. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop off here, and y'all, I'll have a very good night, and I will see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow, as always I say, good night, good night, peeps, see you tomorrow, bye guys.